Hey there guys, Music Fan here. How are you guys doing? Uh, 2014 is quickly winding down to a close, so I don't want to delay any longer. I'm just going to go with these next few album reviews that I have while I have the time. Uh, this one will be a review of the recent Anti-Mask album, self-titled Anti-Mask. This is the new project from famed duo of Cedric Bixler Zavala and Omar Rodriguez Lopez, both of, with, both of which I'm sure you know. Um, led the, the two very great bands at the drive-in and the Mars Volta the former of which I have reviewed in this channel before and the latter I have still have yet to do but I am really wanting to do that um, anyways so this is the this is the debut album from this new project that Omar and Cedric has formed this past year uh, it was at amidst rumors of them getting back together after a very bitter fallout between Cedric and Omar uh, via Twitter with a Cedric rant um, once Omar tried putting the Mars Volta on hold in favor of his side project Bosnian Rainbows um, and then they got back together around this year and then comes out this particular album now if you know the Mars Volta's discography very well then you would know that their last few albums have been a little bit good I mean they've the last few albums have been very um, ambitious with like a lot of experimentation, a lot of um, these elongated passageways, musically speaking, you know, but they didn't really lend themselves much into the appeal that the first album, Delos in the Comatorium, had. Uh, and uh, it, it was a little bit so much on the heavy and the experimental side. And um, save for like a few tracks off their last album, it sounded as if they were getting a little bit bored, as if they were kind of heading into a box that they had created it them, themselves in and and with this new album it sounds fresh this new this new album with these songs they have a fresh energy to them it's a raw fresh energy really so much to the point that i have not heard from these two pretty much since at the drive in like this is their most fiery their most <coughs> excuse me their most energetic their most catchy their most hooky set of songs since relationship of command the, the, the last at the drive-in album although like a lot of these songs really have an at the drive-in feel although they re they, they remind me more of the earlier at the drive-in I'm talking about acrobatic tenement in casino out um, meets the atmospheric lyrical um, Um, lyrical um, weirdness of, of the Mars Volta like it's really those two different extremes meeting at the center with the with the few tracks of this particular album like this whole album really is them at their most quickest at their most fast pace their most energetic and it is just simply awesome like this album really harkens me back to the days where I listened to Acrobatic Tenement and in casino out for the very first time and you know so this album really turned out to be very nostalgic for me um, a lot of these tracks really displays um, Omar and Cedric's desire to just make short songs make straight to the point no fussing around kind of songs. And, and it's not to discredit the Mars Volta um, uh, gift for being very fearless of being musically restless and always trying out new things and and that's great and all but it just seemed as if like like the Mars Volta started to head into a, like a brick wall with a lot of their experimentation is as if experimentation can go so so um well to the point where it then starts to, be, to become a crutch and that was certainly the Mars Volta's undoing although that's to be commended because the Mars the Mars Volta was a great great fantastic band but anti mask is a different thing entirely. Like these songs um, really musically capture the essence of early at the drive-in, while keeping the lyrical surrealness and and the at the atmosphere of of Mars Volta. And really, you you get a meeting of the minds kind of like here. A lot of the tracks on here, like 4 a.m., I got no remorse, um, in the lurch, which is my favorite song off this album. Really 
Those songs, amongst others, really remind me of At The Drive-In, early At The Drive-In. Other tracks like Ride, the, Ride Like The Devil's Son, um, Providence, Drown All Your Witches, which is surprisingly an acoustic number. Um, those kind of songs really reminds me of Mars, Vol Mars Volta, except a much more scaled back, stripped down Mars Volta. Like a lot, a lot of the tracks on here are really stripped back. You know, they 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 don't take too much time in experimenting with introductions or segues or other layers upon layers of instrumentation. They're really short and straight and to the point, and they're very energetic and and fiery and spark and. And even though I do commend the Mars Volta for being bold, bold and very fearless in their experimentation, it just sounds so nice. It sounds so awesome to hear these two at it again, to hear Omar and Cedric together um, and just crank out tunes like these. And it's just so fiery and it's so epic and it's so awesome. And I, for one, love this album, really love this album. The only stickler point for this is that it kind of gets a just a little bit odd by by the second half of the album. It kind of dips down and it drops from intensity um, towards the second half of this album. But it picks the, picks right picks the energy right back up with the last two songs, uh, "Hung in Effigy" and "Domino Rain," and two of two of probably their most fiercest compositions yet. And this is turning out to be this is like my favorite one of my favorite albums of this year like I mean this these songs are quick they're concise they're short straight to the point the energy is just high the the punk rock energy is just like up up this ante you know with this particular album and it's absolutely fan <clears throat> fantastic um, and and I hear people on on the comments commenting on this album that it sounds very Generic. It doesn't sound as fearless or as or as ab experimentally abrasive as the Mars Volta's stuff, and it sounds so generic. Um, looking from that point of view, I can see why, or rather, I can hear why they would why they would have an opinion like that, particularly which they have the right to, to say so. But I would just I would just politely disagree. Um, no way, in no possible shape or form are these songs pop or are these songs meant for mainstream because these songs remind me more of Acrobatic Tenement at the drive-in than as opposed to um, anything of this current nature of mus musically speaking. Like even, even if Relationship of Command, the band's most adrenaline-fueled, their most fiercest album to date or ever, um, even that album had a production sheen towards it, and while it did dull that album a little bit, it really did, did not detract from the fierce nature of this album. And this album isn't isn't any fiercer than that album, but it doesn't make this al Anti Masks album any less or dulls down the energy any less than than a pop album would. And this, so this album, I would disagree of being very generic. This album is far from generic. This album has like the darkness, has like a certain surreal nature of within the lyrics and, and within the brooding atmosphere. Like, except the only difference is is that it's now accompanied by Cedric and Omar's desire for a, a new start, a new energy. And then these sh these songs, I said, these songs really show shows this. The songs really showcases this new visceralness, this new energy that the band. Omar and Cedric really want to have and they succeed for the most part but they do succeed in this regard so I will give this album 4.5 out of 5 definitely one of my favorite albums of this year so fantastic job and great for getting back together Cedric and Omar here's to hopefully a Mars Volta reunion or an at the drive-in reunion we'll wait and see anyway this has been my review of anti-mask um, take uh, comments down below. Tell me what you think of this album. Do you love it? Do you not like it? Why or why not? And that's it. Anti-mask. Mr. Music fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you later.